Once the computational mesh has been generated, the flow velocity is set to either zero or to some fixed value for all the cells in the entire domain. Then, starting from the boundary conditions, like the input velocity of a virtual wind tunnel, small steps in time are taken to gradually propagate towards a fully developed flow around the object. Starting from this aerodynamic simulation data, the adjoint simulation, also called the duo or the backward simulation, does the opposite thing. Starting from the goal, the objective function, which could be again lift or drag or something else, it calculates backwards, again using small iterative steps, to assess how each node impacts this total goal. Based on these results, we can then calculate again all of the local gradients and construct the sensitivity map. This color map will help us to actually mitigate some of those problems. So the way it works is that red means you have to move the surface slightly outward along the normal. So the normal is pointing outwards. So this red part would mean put it outward like this. And blue means push it inwards. So along the normal, push it inwards. So this blue part would have to need push it along this direction across the normal. 